All right, got the goats here. And got the refrigerator over there still. It's gonna stay there. It's a landmark nowadays, so we're gonna go ahead and leave it. Still got the structure over there, standing strong. I had the cattle come in here and kind of sweep through. They did a fantastic job. They're doing an excellent job at leveling this out. So it's got a nice slope on it now. Uh, and then when the cattle get on it, they're heavy. So they leave deep, um, they, they leave like deep hoof prints like over here. And you can see they really tear up the soil, but leave like edges, like sharp edges like that. But when you put the goats on it, since they're a light animal, but they have very fine movement, it levels it all out really nice. So it gives us a nice slope here. And it's gonna continue all the way out to the edge of the property. Probably not all the way out, but you can see they've worked it to about right in this area. And that's about where it's gonna go. Cause the rest of that, as you can see on top over here, um, you got all the concrete and that's never going away uh, probably will be there 300 years from now and that's one of those things that's just gonna happen um, I'm not gonna put the labor in to pull it out and, I mean I don't have any equipment I could go out and rent equipment but you're talking at least you know six seven hundred dollars in equipment and have it all done to be honest with you, it doesn't bother me that much. So we're gonna leave it there for the time being, unless something changes. But now I got the goats down here, which is the bucks, just the bucks. They're all down here and they're gonna kind of level this out. Then I'm gonna move them over to this paddock with the cows, or not necessarily the cows, but you know what I mean. Two steers and a heifer. But I got them out here and they've done a really good job at grazing this Bermuda down. The Bermuda, where it's untouched, was probably about a foot and a half tall. Hey, you can see I just refilled their water and they consumed a heck of a lot of water, which is good. They need to consume that. But I mean, man, I've been giving them a pretty good diet of alfalfa and uh, old mill run. And let me tell you, they are putting on some weight. Even old McBeefy, or not McBeefy, old uh, uh, Beef Wellington over there. He's over here on this paddock. And uh, he, he's starting to put on some weight. Uh, the secret to him was you got to give him some dewormer. He probably had some kind of parasites on him and was causing him all kinds of trouble. But, um... Anyway, that's them. They're here. So you can see they ate it all down. It was pretty nice and tall. I don't think I ever got a good shot of it, but it was really nice here at one point. Um, over here is pretty nice still, but you can see where I have to irrigate it every day. So you can see where, where it's wet and they trample through it. It destroys it, but I mean that's part of the process they're they're killing the slope that's here because there was a sharp angle and then a really sharp steep fall off drop off so um they're smoothing it out and it's gonna work out it's gonna work out beautifully i don't think i could have done it that that nice uh with equipment um figuring that i really don't drive equipment never really have so that's they're doing a better job at it than i am plus Ooh, we got some water here plus with uh, them doing it it's pretty good for them plus I'm feeding them already so it's all good it works out perfectly uh, I also wanted to show something else I do have my uh, I don't know what you would call that I guess they would call it a hand dug well but it's it's got plenty of water in it and it's working as you can see, it's working. So I'm pretty stoked. These paddocks right now are empty. Just because I don't have any animals on them right now. Um, I'm kind of working on revamping everything up here. I'm going to go ahead and try to get the irrigation done. 
eventually. I mean, it is kind of priority, but not priority number one. Priority number one is to get these guys just fed and kind of get everything going. Um, I got some complications going on right now, so it's kind of tying up a lot of my time. And it's okay, I'm not going to get into it, but uh, everything's fine. Just really, really need to get irrigation up here already because with the irrigation, we could definitely make... I mean, here in this property so far, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight paddocks, potentially nine, if I'm really, really careful with it. Uh, eventually, the plan is to run the goats with the cattle just so we could do double damage on everything and I could try to get some real intensive ro rotational grazing. Um, meaning I would give every paddocks uh, nine days before I would rotate back on. That is incredibly fast. You know, that, that's, in my opinion, that's a little bit too fast for these paddocks. And I'm afraid uh, we're going to really destroy them. What I really need is this Bermuda to establish. Once this Bermuda establishes and we also get some clover in there, uh, we'll be fine. The plan is to have Bermuda, clover, and oat. You can see all the oats growing here, but that would be a really, really nice pasture here. If we could get Bermuda, clover, and oats, it would just absolutely thrive. And these animals would thrive They'll get the sugars they need from the oat hay or from the oat forage. They'll get um, the protein they need from the clover, and they'll get um, they'll get uh, fiber from the Bermuda. So it's perfect. I would think so anyway. But that's the plan. Everything's kind of coming along pretty good, and uh, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching.